Greetings, Chikarmi, and welcome to your podcast, A Go Go. I'm Mike Quackenbush, director of fun here at Chikara, coming to you from Center Neptune with another week's dose of Chikara goodness for you. This week on the Go Go, we're going to take a look at Argus, the Gecko Roman wrestler and recent graduate of our training facility, the Wrestle Factory. He's ascended to the Chikara roster, where he was drafted by Team Captain Ophidian for his challenge of the Immortals Quartet, the Snake Pit. Well, let's take a look at Argus in action right here from Gibsonville, North Carolina, where he goes up against Gen 1 Original and Chikara's top dog, Hollow Wicked. And Chikara, one of the most recent graduates from the Wrestle Factory, against one of the head trainers, but a man who is barely recognizable to us now in Hollow Wicked. In, in appearance and in attitude, Mike, uh, you mentioned the most recent graduate of the Chikara Wrestle Factory, Argus. Hollow Wicked, arguably one of the first, not arguably, one of the first on the very first event, May 25th, uh, 2002 now. And uh, you, the old saying goes, I guess, he, he might have taught Argus some of the things he know, knows, but not all the things that Hollow Wicked knows, I imagine. That's right. Obviously, as you can tell, the experience factor here to Hollow Wicked, who is captain of the Nightmare Warriors in Challenge of the Immortals. Argus, an absolute rookie here. He was a final round draft pick for Ophidian's Snake Pit team. He's got a real uphill battle against a 13-year veteran and arguably one of the finest pound-for-pound -pound wrestlers anywhere in the world today in Hollow Wicked. That's a tough uphill battle for any room. Absolutely true, and it has to be what went down at National Pro Wrestling Day just four weeks ago back in Norristown, Pennsylvania. Mike Argus getting the big victory in that 22-person uh, tag team main event at National Pro Wrestling Day. Must have uh, impressed Ophidian enough to draft him at the, for the Challenge of the Immortals. Well, I think uh, just the way the class schedule's worked out, Ophidian has probably trained with Argus more than any other trainer. And I think he's had an opportunity to see something, some promise in this youngster. Well, let's see how he does. Uh, certainly a tall task, but look at that. Very cleverly done. The Gecko Roman wrestler, I've heard him called on occasion. Slippery, slimy. And it should be noted as well, this is not a Challenge of the Immortals contest. Both captains did not agree upon the terms of this contest. It's just a singles exhibition. A real test for the rookie here right now is Hollow Wicked with the advantage. He used the snapmare very low to the ground, turns him around. Wow. What a quick conversion through the Mexican rolling pin and came out with a crucifix. You're going to see that hold adapted for hold on top of hold with somebody like Hollow Wicked, who is well versed in all wrestling styles, European styles, like the British style, the German style, Mexican lucha libre, etc. So it's going to be really interesting to see what Argus brings to the table. How are these styles going to clash? I'd, I'd venture a guess that, that Hollow Wicked has, has wrestled in more states than Argus that ha has had matches at this point in their career. Really just Ooh. a handful of matches. That's a great move there, uh, reminiscent of Arn Anderson. I just remember watching uh, the four horsemen do that, a, a way to kind of paralyze the wrist, the way you turn that against the mat and then stomp on the back of the elbow. You're jamming it up, you're trying to jam that wrist up. I would have expected a Brain Busters reference out of you, Mike. <laughs> it's, it's coming. <laughs> the nights are late. Looking for the backslide. Yeah. Hollow Wicked wisely basing his weight. I think it was really just a rookie mistake there, I think, on the part of Argus. He, you got to bring your weight lower down to the ground. Especially when you got a tall guy. Hollow Wicked's one of them. Very, very tall guy. What do you think? 6'2", six, 6'3"? Six, I would say 6'2", six, 6'3", six, probably with a, a 20 to 25 pound weight advantage on Argus. He walked right into that. You better capitalize. Oh, yeah. Argus did. Pretty rare that you see a mistake like that out of Hollow Wicked. He yep. dipped his head a yep. second too early, yep. and that swinging neck breaker came out of nowhere. What's it going to be? Whoa! Right for the knee drop, and Hollow Wicked had the good sense to get away from it. He has to hit it. He has to hit it. Took his eye off the ball, and that, op and that opportunity, like you said, a rare mistake out of the 13-year veteran Hollow Wicked. Hollow Wicked there really showing his presence of the good sense to get out of dodge and slow the match down. This is really a pacing technique is what he's using here, fans. He's outside the ring, let him eat up the count, right? No danger being counted out just yet. Long way to go. He's killed all of Argus's momentum. That's a veteran move. Collected his thoughts, collected his breath, re-strategized, and in a veteran move, but not a move we would have seen Hollow could make even, even three or four months ago. More than opportunist, seemingly, lately. 
Strange go down at Tomorrow Never Dies. Um, delirious, uh, on, uh, perhaps the last time we will ever see Delirious, but his parting moment was one that will certainly haunt Ultramantis Black for some time to come, because this transformation that has affected Hollow Wicked, and then by virtue of that, also Frightmare, has had uh, alarming ramifications. Like I said, this man is all but unrecognizable. Yeah. Now speaking in, in, in English sentences now, completely unrecognizable. Yeah, something has been unlocked, and not unlike what we saw happen to Delirious uh, two years prior. Trying to negotiate his way out of that head scissor is Argus. He came up and he's got the headlock. He did the right thing getting out of the head scissor the way that he did there. Especially because you can see he's carrying a lot of it in his midsection. Bring your weight forward. That's a great way to get out of it. What's he got? Oh, he took him over there. Yeah, Argus was really rattled. You could see the way his head was just kind of like wobbling. Holler looking now, looking for a knee drop. Elbow oh. drop. I thought oh, funny guy. I thought it was going to be a knee drop, but I think my mind now, I keep thinking it's going to be the knee sure, drop. Sure, sure. Argus, what's he got? Oh, he opened the sunset flip? Yeah. Didn't have the legs over the arms, so that's the key to a sunset flip. Yeah. That's what keeps the shoulders on the mat. Oh. I've seen him use that soul butt kick before Argus. Such acceleration. All the way through there and dragged him. He's got, whoa! Nicely overhead. done! Great belly-to-belly -belly throw. He does have Hollow Wicked kind of rocking and reeling there. What's he got? Butterfly, suplex! Look at that, turned all the way over with it. You better, you better follow up, up, follow up! You're gonna do it, do it! Crowd wants the knee drop, but I think, no, I, I think you should have pinned it, yep, Bryce. Yep, yep, this is the best opportunity he's had the entire match to win. I and can, he has squandered it. Yeah, I can appreciate a rookie's desire to win the approval of an audience. I get that, but uh, that was a mistake that's probably gonna cost him the match, Bryce. And Hollow Wicked now perhaps has had enough oh. playtime there. Good night. That is it. Go to Sleepy Hollow. Whoa, kicking out of two. Are you showing us something here? All right. Got to be impressing Ophidian waiting, watching in the ring somewhere here in the Mid-Atlantic Sportatorium, preparing for his title opportunity this night. But got to be impressed at bit backing up the Ooh. option of his draft pick. Blast him with that knee in the corner. That Not a new drop. Kick. That was vicious. Kick is still alive. I'm surprised. That rookie mistake he made a moment ago, I thought was going to signal the end. And I'm amazed he's lasted as long as he has since that mental error. Yep. Oh, he's got... Oh, I thought it was going to be the right deed. Oh, oh, Bryce. He went right through leg control fireman's carry. What's he got? Taking him along. Hold on Making a seatbelt. What a great pinning combination. No. Oh. Wins a prize. Argus, you the match is not over. Right, Argus, you have not won the match. Keep your eye on Hollow Wicked. Oh no. This is a the second rookie mistake, and I don't think Blast him. He caught him right in the face. Good night, Argus. Rookie mistake indeed. Two rookie mistakes. Too close together. That's the kind of thing you can't do in there against Hollow Wicked. Argus, Hollow Wicked, the entire Chikara gang are headed your way next, New England, July 25th and 26th, just under three weeks away. We're in South Windsor, Connecticut and Providence, Rhode Island with two jam-packed events. Don't miss the fun-filled Lucha Super Party when we're heading your way. What's next on the tour schedule? Reading, Pennsylvania. Easton PA is host to King of Trios. And then we've got one more swing through the Midwest, including our first ever stop in Minneapolis, tickets on sale for our return to New York City, and tons of other season 15 events. Get all the info you need at chakarapro.com. Then meet me back here in seven days time when I'll present to you one more edition of the podcast, A Go-Go.